Action. Action. You just watched a sequence and a shot for an equal amount of time, 10 seconds. So, which one did you like? Which one kept you interested and held your attention? Let me take a guess. It's the clip A, which is absolutely fine because it's your choice. However, there might be a reason why I knew your answer. The recent boom in the world of video making has brought a drastic change in the way we watch content. Ever since we as amateurs got our hands on making videos and editing them within our phones and cameras, which wasn't possible just a few years back, everything has changed. We have made everything so goddamn fast. And consequently, the advertisement industry, YouTube content creation, Facebook, Instagram content generation, and even the films are now designed to catch our attention and hold on to it. In fact, we as a generation are famously known for our short attention span. Advertisers and content creators are supposed to hook us within the first 5 seconds, otherwise they fail to catch enough eyeballs. A similar pattern of hooking has penetrated into our films now. If there isn't enough movement on the screen, or a load of information being thrown into our faces, we get bored. Now this becomes a problem. Getting constantly exposed to such fast-paced editing and overload of information has paralyzed us and made us incapable of watching anything that falls short of our supersonic expectations. This abuse of images has conditioned us subconsciously. You cannot be blamed for your choice of sequence A because it's everywhere around us. This is why we expect the same frenzy from everything we watch. But I believe there might be a remedy to this problem. Whenever you are about to commit yourself to a one and a half hour or a two hour film, read the log line, aka the short summary of the film first. Knowing that will put you at ease and you won't get shocked or bored by the otherwise unexpected slow pacing of the film. You will be able to willingly participate and consciously immerse yourself in the film by setting aside the irrational expectations that are built up by the ludicrous content we consume on a daily basis. The purpose of this video is not to convince you to watch slow films, but to liberate your watching experience and to give you a chance to explore beautiful, more therapeutic and often meditative films that you might be missing on just because you can't watch a single shot for more than 5 seconds. In a world full of such diverse films, there are but two types of films. Good films, the films we can understand structurally and the great films, the films that can understand us emotionally. Be brave, take a little risk, watch films from all around the world and you might find the film that you have been looking for.